the nature of this business is that we collect stuff and I have a husband that about once a month or so loves to go through all of our stuff and organize it and he says things like Lynn you need to get this project done by such and such a date or it's going to the curb By using Debbie's DIY chalk and clay based paint and a beautiful iron orchid design transfer, I saved this little dresser from going to the curb. We've had our shop for about seven years. We started with just the leftover pieces that we had in our basement at home or um, just stuff that we would find at garage sales. As our business grew, and people started to find out that we we repurposed things and we painted things. All of a sudden, everybody had something to sell. So people would come in the shop, they drop stuff off at the back door every day. Someone has something that they want to sell us or give us. In all that stuff, over seven years, I pretty much see a project in just about everything. So we've collected we have a lot of stuff jr likes to organize he likes to put things in rows he likes to have them in categories and about once a month he'll come through our workspaces and he'll start organizing so I'm like, what do you mean you want to throw this to the curb? We picked it up off the curb. It's an awesome piece. I have a vision for it. You can't throw this away. So I had this dresser. I spent way too much money for it. It had layers and layers of paint. I tried sanding it. I couldn't get the paint off. I tried stripping it. I couldn't get all that paint off. So I finally just left it as is, cleaned it up, and just smoothed out the finish the best I could. I thought this was a perfect project for Debbie's DIY paint. So here's the problem. This is how my brain works. I'll dream up something for a project and I'll start it, but then I'm inspired about another project. And so I, I end up, and so I end up with like three, six, eight projects in progress at the same time. JR, on the other hand, thinks this way. If you start a dresser, you work on it until you finish that dresser. And then you move on to the paint dresser. And then you move on to the upholstery project. And you move on to the desk. Oh Lord, I, I can't, I can't function that way. And so I always have like a load of projects going on at the same time. I had this vision in mind for this dresser. I wanted it to be dramatic. I wanted to try a new technique. So I chose Little Black Dress. Debbie's DIY paint has clay in it. It's clay and chalk and all this really good stuff. So it sticks to anything and I thought, it was the perfect paint to use on this half-stripped, partially sanded dresser that I had. And he's always saying things like, don't buy another thing. We don't need another project. Lynn, you are banned from going on Facebook Marketplace. Don't buy another thing. We have, um, our basement is full of stuff and we have a barn full of stuff and two storage units and a garage. So I probably really don't need any more projects. I picked out some colors that were in the background of the Iron Orchid Designs wallflower transfer. I wanted to add these little pops of texture 
and color to this project. This was really easy and fun. I just took an old credit card and dipped it into the paint and just started dragging it across different areas. So I use this technique to kind of scrape paint across different areas of the dresser. It creates a little bit of a chippy look and these little pops of color that will be behind the transfer that I'll be applying. But you know, believe it or not, we're a really good team. I can see that um, some things just have to go. And JR concedes that um, I need <laughs> that <laughs> But I need deadlines. I hate sanding dust. I really do. It's messy. It's hard to clean up. It makes your hands all dry. With Debbie's DIY paint, you can wet to stress your finish. So you just take a damp cloth and you wipe back wherever you want to reveal the layers underneath. DIY Big Top gives you this really soft, pretty, luster to your finished piece and it's going to make my transfer adhere a little bit better as well. So this is Wallflower. It's one of my favorite IOD transfers. Why do I love it? I love it because all of the edges and border pieces here, you can trim those away from the center part and use them separately or you can shift them and adjust them so that you can make this whole piece fit the project that you're working on. And you know why else I love it? I love it because it really does look like vintage wallpaper. Isn't that pretty? I've cut my transfer apart so that I can size it to my project. That's what I love about these transfers too, is you can use them in parts and pieces and you can layer them. When my transfer was completely applied, I rubbed over the whole surface of it with a very worn sanding block to reveal some of that texture and those layers and chunkiness that are underneath. But then, um, no, he also understands my brain and that um, eventually I do get things done and they end up with a pretty cool result. So he gives me the space to be able to create the way that I need to and I give him the latitude to organize and to get rid of junk that never in a million years would we be able to um, fix and finish. So um, yeah, it works out. We're a good team. This piece sat in my basement for months. It was going to go to the curb. It took me two days to finish this with Debbie's DIY paint and an iron orchid transfer. And much to my surprise and delight, it happens to be one of JR's favorite pieces. All of the products that I used for this dresser rescue are available at lnjgoods.com.